Super Noah's Ark 3D was a game released by Wisdom Tree in 1994. And, oddly enough, the game is decent, I guess you could say. But, we're not here to do a review. We're here to talk about Super Noah's Ark 3D and its connection to ID Software. Well, first we need to look at the history of the game and who it was made by. So of course let's start with Wisdom Tree. Wisdom Tree was a company that started releasing games unofficially as Super Noah's Ark 3D is. It's an unofficial game. Wisdom Tree released games unofficially for the NES and SNES consoles back in the late 80s and early 90s. And some of the games were pretty decent, some of them were pretty bad, but they were Christian games and they were sold typically in Christian bookstores. Uh, I don't think any of these saw any retail anywhere else other than those stores. But before we talk about the ID software connection, we need to talk about how the whole thing started, how the whole idea started. So let's go from there. The original idea was to have a game based on Hellraiser. I don't know how you went from this to a Christian game, but yeah. Anyway, it was originally supposed to be released for the NES, but what ended up happening is that by the time that the Super Nintendo had been out for a few years, NES software was deemed out of date. So they let the licensing for Hellraiser expire and they moved on to the next step. Here's where things get interesting. The game engine that was used for Super Noah's Ark 3D was licensed from ID Software based on the Wolfenstein 3D game engine. And that's where the connection comes in. The rumor for years, though never confirmed, was that the reason that ID Software allowed Wisdom Tree to use the Wolfenstein 3D game engine was kind of a way to mock Nintendo. Because at the time, Nintendo had a no violence in video game stance. Examples of that, uh, of course, if you grew up in the time, if you didn't, well, now you're going to learn. Mortal Kombat was heavily edited. Um, that included toned down fatalities, blood being changed colors or absent altogether, etc. And of course, uh, US legislation had a lot to do with it. Um, that's a completely different episode we will discuss at some point in the future. But anyway, Super Noah's Ark has a lot to thank ID Software for. Of course, the game flopped. And when I say flopped, that's an understatement. Or whatever. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, the game was only sold in Christian stores. And it was an unofficial game. Uh, unofficial in the sense that uh, you had no seal from Nintendo. It was not approved by Nintendo. So the original cartridge for it had to use a Super Nintendo game to plug into the top as a way to bypass so the game could play. But did people like the game? Well, that's up for debate. It depends on if you actually bought this game when it was new or you waited for one of the newer releases. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what more I could say about it, but uh, as for the ID software connection, Wolfenstein, uh, Wolfenstein, the engine, definitely without it, this game probably could have been a whole lot worse, as if it already was, but like I said, it's up for debate. But there is something interesting. If you haven't played this game, and you want to play it, Wisdom Tree is still around. Oh yes, folks, Wisdom Tree is still kicking. And interesting enough, you can still actually buy NES and SNES games through Wisdom Tree. Yes, that is true. 
They still sell them. They actually make a cartridge that has several games built into one cartridge. Wow. If you take a brief look at their store, not only can you buy Super Noah's Ark 3D on Super Nintendo, you could actually get it cheaper on Sega Genesis. Womp womp. Sega wins again, I guess. Just kidding. Anyway, what's interesting enough is Noah's Ark for NES, which was actually a Konami developed title. So still trying to figure out that mystery. <laughs> Sorry about the Sega Genesis joke there. Anyway, for Super Nintendo fans, if you want a chance to play this game, not all is lost. You can still buy it brand new from Wisdom Tree's website. So if you want to see how Wolfenstein 3D and Super Noah's Ark 3D match up, well, here's your chance to buy a brand new copy. Now, let me tell you, it's not like the original um, cartridge. Sorry for that little pause there, little suspense. It is not like the original cartridge. The original cartridge actually is put in a Super Nintendo style cartridge. So, no worries there. So, if you want to see how the two match up against each other, Wolfenstein 3D versus Super Noah's Ark 3D, well, here's your chance. Or you could get it on Steam like everyone else. So, I hope you liked today's episode. There wasn't much to talk about in the connection between ID Software other than Wolfenstein 3D, but I thought it was some information that everyone should know if you want to know everything about video games, especially mm, crappy ones. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, when we talk about something else awesome in video gaming, actually, I don't know if you could call this awesome or not. Let's just say that's up for debate. Anyway, until next time, I'll see ya.